stop eating viruses. You eat genetically modified organisms, and you are saying, I don't eat a virus. <laughs> no, nah, that's what you're doing. You're like, hold up. You know, because you got the knowledge now. So you're like, hold up. Um, all right, the seedless grape, I'm about to get it in with some viruses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because it's just the genetic coding. You got what I'm saying? That it's going into your DNA. So you're like, yo, I'm about to get it in with these genetically modified seedless organic virus grapes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then the watermelon, right? It's like, look, I'm tired of searching for this watermelon. If you want some watermelon, we got watermelon. Man. Well, we ain't have it yet because we haven't harvested yet. We got some watermelon. So put your watermelon orders in, black seeded watermelons. Good for your reproductive system. We got it. Come. You know what I'm saying? But so you go and get you a, a watermelon with no seeds, and you're like, listen, I'm about to chop into this nice, yummy, delicious virus. Woo! <laughs> You know what I'm saying? How we get the how, where we get the watermelons without the virus? Oh, you can get them from Born Mastermind Allah, man. Nation Business Builders at gmail.com. Right. You know what I'm saying? You make a donation at Nation Business Builders at gmail.com. You know what I mean? We'll send you a watermelon. Aye, <laughs> aye. Yeah. Uh, that's the uh, PayPal, right? Yeah, that's what it is. That's the PayPal. Check it out. We'll send you a black seeded watermelon that's strong for your reproductive system, grown without nitrogenous based funguses. You know what I mean? By the young God back there. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's our watermelon guy. He grows it. So, you know what I mean? You're drinking. Oh, you missed it. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, you you, you had to get initiated. You even came to the class. Yeah, you, you missed it. I'm not going to say who. You know what I'm saying? But uh -huh. somebody came in here with the Doritos. Nah, now Cypher got... Yeah, no. Yeah, well, we got to make a feel bad. But I did point out what we said. <laughs> You're making me feel bad about saying that. <laughs> So we had to point out the guana like, you know. Oh, nah, you ain't do that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did that. You know what I mean? Uh, you ain't um, no good, guys. That's, you know what I mean? That's what we do. You come in here, you get initiated, you get roasted. You know what I mean? <laughs> and if you're roasting, you're nuts. What's that name? Sheesh. If you're roasting, what? Uh, guano. Guana like. Guano, guana like, guana make. It was uh, D sodium guana like. Di sodium guana like. Wow, they said it's salty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, salty bat shit. <laughs> yo, but if you think about it, yo, I mean, the viruses have made you other than your own self. Mm. You are not who you are supposed to be naturally because you've been eating viruses that contains information that is outside of your natural organism. So you start becoming something else. And once you start becoming something else, you start doing what other things do. You start creeping mm. bad shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what else on the planet eats bad shit. But there's something that is in our <laughs> DNA. Because we love Doritos. So there's something that has been encoded in our DNA that enjoys bad shit. I'm not sure what it is. Peace. You know what I mean? Peace. If I may, you know, I got, it might be just... Quick theory, right. you know, bacteria eats, um, you know, feces and uses it as um, a means to reproduce itself. So it may mm. be just the, the same viruses we're trying to avoid in an attempt to reproduce itself in the most stable environment, craving wow. that. Now the scientists have entered the building, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the class, thank you for that, you know what I mean? But that's what happens. And even in our lessons, it teaches us, right? In our lessons, you start studying 120, it teaches us that we've become other than our own self. Ooh. And the question is, you know, basically, how do we become other than our own self? And the answer is by eating the wrong foods. Can we go through it? Let's go through 1 through 12 right quick. Yeah, well, you know, I, don't really want to, I don't really want to take it there. Come on, God, please. Come on, God. The earth might take it there, especially the one through 1 through 12. <laughs> you know what I mean? The earth loves the 1 through 36, so I'm sure she'll do it. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, becoming other than your own self. And that's what we're doing. And I did a few classes, and some brothers literally was about to have a heart attack. Because I told them how we were grafting ourselves into white people. Straight up. I did a class on germline manipulation and how we are grafting ourselves into white people. And the brothers said, oh. He said, man, listen, 
They tried to take my head. They said, nah, you trying to tell me about what we eat? Because he ate all the shit that I was telling him that was doing it. You know what I'm saying? So naturally, he was excited. Yo, I'm like, if you eat um, dead animal flesh, you know what I'm saying? You drink alcohol, which is, you know, dehydrating you, drying out the system. All these different things that you're constantly doing to your seed over a period of time, you will genetically modify yourself. You're eating chemicals, right? You're eating genetically modified food itself. You are what you eat. Eventually, you will dilute your seed to the point that you will graft yourself into a European. So, so the overall goal is that, okay, they cannot get rid of us, so let's turn them into us. It's a little bit deeper than that. See, first of all, you have to understand, I'm going to hit you in a minute. You have to understand the nature of a parasite. The nature of a parasite, they're not even, they're conscious but it's not conscious as we think of it as being conscious. It's like a parasite. Their very nature is to destroy you and your environment so they can live. Because they can only live when part of you is dead. They have to live through you, so it's not like you can leave the planet or they leave the planet. You know what I'm saying? You are that unified field that they theorize about that actually keeps the universe in, you know what I'm saying, together. So they can't get rid of you, they just have to keep you dead so they can eat off of you like a vulture if they keep you in your dead state see right now we are the walking dead when you understand how supreme that we truly are as a people just merely walking around and talking and looking like we at the same level as europeans we're dead that's right you know what i'm saying I yeah. why, why can't they get rid of us we are the what uh, i said we are that unified field See, Einstein was studying something called, you know, they were looking for the unified field. They called it the unified field theory. So they're looking for that one thing that ties everything in the universe together. And that is us. That's right. You got what I'm saying? We are that universal black source, black energy, that source and the personification at its highest manifestation of the black man and black woman. You know what I'm saying? I was building with the... um. The young God today, right? Today's supreme mathematics being knowledge, probably all being born of God, right? And I asked them, I said, I said, who's more supreme? I said, you or the sun? You know what I mean? If anybody want to take a shot at that question, you know what I mean? Who's more supreme? You or the, you or the sun? <laughs> the physical sun, not, a, not the symbolic sun that we see. Who's more powerful? Am I allowed to answer? You think the sun is more powerful to you? Oh, you absolutely right. like You're going to drop a whole sign. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we can't miss the NBA Finals. You might have to you know, record that one and call me. And we watch it on, you know, YouTube. But um, you said the sun? You think the sun? Yeah. All right. Can we then guess? Are they equal? Equal? Oh, my man. Yeah, we come my from man. And we come from the sun? The bodies that we are using came from the sun. You know what I mean? question is, who put that sun out there? Mm. Well, I'm going to tell you this. You know, I'm just give you a little crash course. You know what I'm saying? We put that sun out there. That's right. Period. That mind that's in every one of your cells that we call the electromagnetic field is what put that sun out there. Our bodies is just an outgrowth of that mind that's in every one of our cells. You know what I'm saying? So, we are just the walking, talking physicality that has evolved to the supreme state of black men and black women. Right? So what makes us more supreme than the sun is the sun does its job, but the sun cannot make a choice to not do its job. The sun can't say, yo, I'm not going to give light to that earth today. Black man can do that. He can walk out on his family. You know what I'm saying? We have got to the point now where due to certain reasons, which I won't go into, you might have to catch, you know, August 2nd to hear some of these reasons, that we have been, we have devolved to the point where we make poor choices and bad choices but the reality of it is is we have the ability to make a choice the sun can't say you know what yeah i'm out of here man leave the planets man i'm gone you got what i'm saying you can make a choice you got what i'm saying that's what makes you supreme also and i'm just giving a little bit of you know foreshadow august 2nd come out the national black theater because i'm going to go into a whole dissertation about this but we are the only people or people humans humans are the only beings that can do what's called infinite organizing power. 
through your mind, your central nervous system. You have the ability to organize the cells within every living organism. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Sun can't come down here and build a pyramid. I mean, it has to do what it was put there to do until it explodes and change form. PG. You know what I'm if I could add on to that, you know, as he's speaking of God and the creation of the cosmos, yes. you know, and the fact that uh, angels or angles, you know, of light traveling at a certain rate, and how you just said that, um, you know, the sun and other planetary uh, creatures lack of free will, and angels lack of free will, you know, although, you know, theologically speaking, men and angel both are Muslim, and Allah himself is. Uh, you know, man has a choice between making a pyramid or not. You know, the sun don't got a choice. They just got to give light. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? I was going to drag me into the Muslim God to be. Oh, nah. Okay. I did want to go into Lost Found Muslim Lesson Number 2, where in the state's plan is something grown to me from the beginning. And holy means something that has not been diluted, mixed, or tampered with in any form. And so, you know, of course, the supreme being, the so-called black man of Asia, must be supreme because... Islam is everything, sun, moon, and stars, and if we created that, then we must be over that. Absolutely. You know, also, in the Holy Quran, or the MSCA, it asks, uh, is not the master of the house more honorable than its walls? Mm. So to realize that we not the body, although the body is a product of the sun, the sun is a product of our minds, therefore the body is a product of our minds, which is why we can manipulate it in the form in which yes, you sir. have stated. Let me tell you what's so beautiful about what you said. Because you made it so practical. Most people see the sun and they say, wow, the sun is, you know, enormous and, you know. But what we have to understand when we look at skyscrapers, right, or even just a house that you live in, it's obviously bigger than you. So when we compare these things, sometimes we judge something being physically bigger, the dimensions, as being greater. You got what I'm saying? When that's not necessarily true, just like the house that you live in is not greater than you. You know what I'm saying? You can walk out the house, you can go down the street, you can plant something. The house just gotta stand there and do what it does until it changes form. Like the sun. You know I mean? Like the sun. So, if we have any more questions, I'm gonna say peace on that. And that was Lost Found Muslim Lesson number one, you know, the, um, the born degree. Thank you, brother. If anybody wanna add on or questions before we go, I gotta get these young guys back or we. We, we right on time. You know what I mean? We got five more minutes. Can we go through that one to 36 then so nobody gonna say nothing? Five more minutes to walk out of here. <laughs> I'll go through the one to 36 with you, you know what I mean? Right quick, my name is WF Muhammad. Not, not, not on camera. I'll what you mean? <laughs> I'll go through the one to 36 with you, not on